I've made some videos about DIY air filters in the past, but this is a major upgrade. You see, I recently bought an actual HEPA filter unit and it came with this replaceable filter in it. HEPA stands for High Efficiency Particulate Absorbing Filter and it's designed to take really, really small particles out of the air. And to achieve a good throughput, it's got uh, concertinaed uh, fibre in here and it's basically, it's not like it's not a woven fibre, it's just lots of crisscrossing strands. Uh, randomly laid down to create a very fine filter. So it's got three levels. It's got the coarse outer to catch hair and stuff like that. It's got the pleated paper filter to give a very high surface area and then inside it's got activated carbon as a final stage. And in the commercial product this is out of, you sat this into the base, you put the base on and it locked into place and closed off this end and it simply pulled air through. That is ultimately what HEPA filters are. There's nothing fancy about them. It's a fan and it's the filter. So I've made some 3D printed uh, components that will allow you to use a standard filter and it's scalable. So if you get a different one of these with a different hole in the middle, then by just by typing the details in the script down below in the description, you can create a custom filter. So let me show you how this goes together. Because this is a donut and it's like clear right through, I've got an end cap. The end cap, you choose the diameter, you choose the lip, you choose the depth, whatever you want. And uh, it just clips in. It is purely a friction fit. I've also put little rubber feet in this just because it makes it more stable and quieter. The other side of it is this cowl that adapts a 120 millimeter computer fan with the correct tapers to whatever size you type in. So again, depending on the size of your filter, you type in the the diameter of this hole and it will automatically create you the STL valve to actually fit that. You also get to choose the thickness of the plastic. I went for two millimeter here in the script. I've adjusted it down to 1.5 millimeter because this took quite a long time to print. The cover on the other side can be a standard computer fan. I went to Thingiverse and just downloaded a universal uh, fan cover maker and customized this one slightly just to, to make it look nice. But you can just use a standard chrome computer fan guard if you want, or none at all. If there's no risk of people sticking their fingers in. But the idea is that it's just a very simple friction fit. And when you turn it on, let me just plug it in. Oh, I should mention. I made a little adapter lead that lets you just plug a jack into this. I have put two diodes in series. The reason for that is that this is a 12 volt power supply. This is a 12 volt fan. By dropping uh, roughly 0.6 volts across each diode, it just nudges the voltage down below 11 volts and it makes it run quieter. This could be advantageous and it will make the fan last a lot longer. It's very quiet for that. You'll find that it takes very little difference to make a fan a lot quieter. I hope there's not a microphone that this is blowing past. There might be a microphone this is blowing past. I shall tilt it to the side and now I'm going to have to check. But uh, what I'm feeling here is that the air, I'm getting a noticeable air force out the end. But having said that, if I just even cover this, you also get a, a relatively high sort of turbulence of air in front. However, I know it's going through the filter because I can actually feel it blowing through between the fingers. And it's not a super high rate, but that's not what this is designed for. It's basically just a very cheap, easy to make filter. I'm going to unplug this now just in case it is making lots of wind noise. So if you look down the description, you will find the two scripts. If you copy them into OpenSCAD, you, you can adjust the variables and you can make this into a custom filter. Another upgrade for the future, some people say, and they're probably right, that these fans are not designed to be mounted horizontally because the bearings aren't designed for that. So another update might be to extend a plate down that goes underneath or just make a little stand for this. Um, as it is, you know, it will basically just stay horizontal if you want. But by lifting up, it's going to give better air circulation around it. But that uh, will then amount the have let the fan run vertically. And at that low power, uh, it's a sort of thing that you could have in your bedroom without worrying about the noise. And the filter itself uh, is going to last for a decent length of time. But that depends how much dust you have in the air. But this is possibly one of the cheapest ways to make a fan filter. And do keep in mind that even if you buy a super duper expensive medical grade filter, it's basically the bulk of the components in that are the fan 
and the filter, and the filters are normally very expensive. If you go to buy a commercial one, make sure you check the price of the replacement filters first. This one's affordable. This filter is about £15 shipped. It's actually from a uh, Silent Night uh, filter unit. Uh, but there we go. Uh, let me know what you think of this experiment. Make one yourself and tell me what you think. But that must be one of the most affordable and most compact uh, HEPA filter units about.